don't worry about the next because it's your boy Chris with an X alrighty so I kind of want to jump on the whole Leslie Jones situation and uh, Twitter people being racist about the Ghostbuster the all-female Ghostbusters movie that just uh, came out all right so this kind of because you know I'm on social media too and um yeah, I just want to talk about the whole situation and other things that social media and fame may bring. All right, so first of all, I, I didn't see the movie, but a lot of people was just saying it was bad that they that they didn't like it, you know, because some people is from the '90s. I'm a '90s person, you know. They liked the original, and then you just had people who didn't like it because it had all female cast. And some people didn't, didn't like it because a black person was in it. So, as we all know, some people didn't, don't like Leslie Jones just because a lot of people may feel like she, uh, I guess for the black community, they feel like she coons. Uh, some people say she's a coon. She coons out. And because uh, one of her comedy uh Says she did on Saturday Night Live, what she called Harriet Tub was well, Harriet Tubman called her a bitch while she was cross while she was crossing the uh, Underground Railroad, and then another one she said she was gonna cook butt naked for uh, for a Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, um, maybe some of it you could consider coonery, but I. We do have a lot of uh, a comedy. Some people do comedy like that. Like you do have Dave Chappelle, who, who uh, on his show he did one where he went back to the future, or he was a pimp and he went back to the past, actually not the future, where he um, uh, well he beat the slave master and he freed Toby, and that was funny. You know that was funny, and and I guess a lot of people feel like oh well, if a black woman does something an equivalent of that. Where Harriet Tubman called her a bitch across the the railroad, you know, it's not funny. And I did laugh at it because if I could laugh at Dave Chappelle's, I could laugh at Leslie Jones. And and I just feel like a lot of people go on Twitter and go and hide in anonymity and like to talk shit. And and a lot of people got mad because like, oh, it's a freedom of speech. Like she said, uh, freedom of speech and hate speech is two different things. And it is, because freedom of speech is where you could talk about how you love the sun shining and that it is your right and you as a human being, you want to grow stuff or, you know, you just like being alive, you just like world and whatever, stuff under that context. And then there's another thing to just comment and try to degrade and try to knock somebody's spirit down. For stuff that they cannot change, their skin color or facial features, the stuff that they cannot change, or if they do change, they may want to change on their own, or some stuff, if they do change it, it could be a health risk, or they can, look, they can disfigure themselves, such as ble skin bleaching, or too much plastic surgery, or wearing uh, wigs or weaves that could potentially, or dyeing your hair that could potentially, you know, mess up your natural hair and the way the pattern or whatever you know stuff that people cannot change and I feel like that's the, that's the blessing the internet social media is both a blessing and a curse it's a blessing because you get to it's a gateway for a lot of people who may not who may not we didn't may not never ever known had it not been for social media because before social media there was only certain people that could get in Hollywood that could do you know that can get in Hollywood or get a TV show about growing uh, stuff or doing hair or whatever they tell it may have been but now social media is pretty much that gateway between TV and just everyday life is be is between TV and yeah pretty much just everyday life or TV and radio or whatever that is probably like that dash you know, some people are comfortable in that dash, and some people may want to get on TV or radio or wherever it may be. And it's an outlet. And then for some people, it's a blessing because you, you have a lot of people who need their mental stability checked before they can get online. 
Because as we all know, you know, you have a lot of trolls, you have a lot of people that's miserable. And for Leslie Jones, you know, yes, uh, it's hard to be, it's hard to grow up. No, how, how can I say that? Yeah, it's hard growing up poor, but she is not the reason that you are poor. Because if you work in 9 to 5 to stay alive, that's on you. You know, find your way, find your stick, find whatever you need to do to become successful. So where you go into the store, you ain't got to look at the price tag of whatever you buy. Or you ain't got to look at your budget and be like, ooh, I'm about to spend too much. I'm, I, I can't buy all this. Because that's what I'm doing. You know, if I didn't like something, I'm not going to fix it. You know, I have people that I like and that I follow whether famous or YouTube or whatever it counts. And sometimes they may say stuff that I don't like, but I'm never going to fix my mouth to be like, oh, well, you're ugly, so you automatically lose. Because in this generation, if you look good, or if you have a fat ass or whatever, or eggplant or whatever, that automatically makes you win an argument. Or you automatically win. You automatically win. Like, how is that winning? This is why this generation is so susceptible to stupidity because it's like, how are you winning? Or how does being <laughs> ugly have anything to do with an argument? You know, the truth hurts for some people. You know, not a lot of people can handle the truth. I was watching The Simpsons where, where Lisa was saying, you know, some people just don't like the truth. She was telling her grandpa because her grandpa jumped up uh, about Inchy and Scratchy he said that he didn't like, like it and it was disgusting and people start throwing uh, uh, tomatoes and, and a nigga was about to bust a pineapple upside his head you know cause y'all know me I do get those little Simpson reviews if you follow me on Facebook but um yeah I, I just feel like you know again the, the internet is not for everybody and I feel like it's, it is some people like, you should go through a mental background check before some people get on the internet. Because it's like, with trolls, you know, people just start hitting the block button. You know, somebody not, you know, ain't nobody about to get into an argument, especially with a person that you cannot see them and you cannot judge them and pick them apart. And do, you know, basically return the favor. Because you could just get a fake profile account. Or be a faceless fucker and not even post, not even upload something, and then call somebody else who chooses to share their life, who choose to show their natural face or show how they are, or comfortable how they are, and you want to tear them down and judge them. You know, whether somebody's sexually um, pleasing to your eye or not, you know, no one owes you anything. You you lucky to even get somebody to make you laugh, to make you do anything. No one owes you a damn thing. Because most people who think they be owed something is not really to give out anything. And, you know, like I said, in this generation, I feel like you, if you... Because if Leslie Jones looked like um, uh, Zoe Saldana or maybe a Rihanna or something, I'm, I'm pretty sure people would have not went as hard. But since they wanted, you know, since she looks how she does, you know, they want to go in and call her an ape or call her, you know, a nigger or a coon or all these other, you know, derogatory words just because she does not look like a Rihanna or a Zoe Zaldana or any other light-skinned, you know, beautiful celebrity. But that's the thing. Beauty is not a be It's in the eye of the beholder. And some of these guys who say they want a Rihanna or Zoe Zaldana or something, they end up cheating on... on you know, a Holly Berry to get with um, someone who looks like Leslie Jones. And I'm not saying that there's anything that looks wrong with Leslie Jones. Because a lot of people, uh, a lot of guys would date anybody. You just have to have that personality and that, you know, confidence. Because it's, at the end of the day, that's the thing that brings the right people around you. You know, don't change for anybody. So I do think it's cool that, you know, she told Twitter and Facebook and got those accounts deleted and blocked because it's really annoying when you're trying to, uh, when you see so much positivity, especially in this world with all the negativity going on, you know, you see all this good, you know, you have a lot of good riddance, good riddance and then you have that one person who wants to disrupt the whole flow, maybe because they have nothing going on for them. Like if you want to be miserable and a loner, then go do that and be in a corner. 
But don't go try to trade on somebody else's positivity or something that's going good for them just because you may not have nothing going on or just because you may <clears throat> you may feel a certain way or you may feel some type of way about something. Because, again, you know, you don't know who you could be talking to. You could be talking to somebody who works for the FBI and then they could trace your IP and then you don't and you don't know whose people you may need to see because you feel like you want to disrespect somebody or tell them to kill themselves. So you don't know whose people you may need to see or the authorities you may need to see. So that's just comes from, you know, that's just some words for trolls or people who want to troll out there. Cause it, so, yeah, that's just my whole thing, you know, is I support, you know, Leslie Jones, because when it comes to that, you know, I have no tolerance for racism. If you may not like something, that's fine. You know, you could be a hater and voice your opinion. But just to re literally just tear somebody down to the point you think they may need to die or they may need to, like, get off the face of the earth or do something that's uh, not good, then that's where it needs to be stopped. It's not like she's a murderer or killer or anything or she did anything. Hell, most of the people that need to be dead ain't dead, raping these kids and stuff. But anyways, that's another topic for another day. Anyways, comment, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And yeah, this has been your boy, Chris with an X on some true shit. All right, peace.